Call and response Q&A. Question and answer. New dimension. Essential aspects of life. Health. Health. Action. Action. Art. Art. Family. Family. Culture. Culture. Heritage. Breathing. 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 Diet. Diet. Exercise. Exercise. Rhythm. 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 Emotion. This is. This is the thing. The thing. The thing. This is the topic. This is. This is the topic. On the table. On the table. On the table. Here. Here is something. Is to ask yourself. Something. Something. We find. Find. Here is something. Here is. Ask yourself. Something to ask ourselves. This is what I want you to answer. Call and response. Question and answer. This is to consider what what I want you to ask to answer. This is what I want you to answer. To consider. To consider. To define. To define. What is what is power? Power. What is power? What is freedom? What is freedom? What is freedom? The two could go together. The two could go together. Maybe they are. Okay. Maybe, maybe one in the same. Or one in Think the same. Think about. Forgiveness and guilt trips. You know, a lot of times we just kind of like perpetuate, we just kind of like perpetuate the same sort of habits. Because you got habits and you got uh, patterns, you know? And a lot of us, we do the same stupid shit because we've already done it and we feel bad about the fact that we've done it and not doing it and changing it, even though we really know once we were able to change and especially had that support. It would be harder to go back than it would be uh, fun and invigorating and rewarding as well as um, releasing to just focus on staying right and continuing and building, building on that growth. But OK, but as far as like guilt trips, shame, you know, shame and guilt really is a really main thing. And a lot of us, we like um, it's a control situation. You know, a lot of times like control issues, but it's not always that sometimes it's just like be in the middle between each other and uh, between ourselves, you know, the two sides of ourselves, we'd be in the middle of that. And then that undecided, that sort of static, sort of marginal state of our being, be, be in between our relationships with each other, like us and another person or us and another person and then another person, you know what I mean? Like, and then we'd be between two people, but then we'd be between the two people within ourselves. And that, and, that, and that person between the two people between ourselves be between two people between the two people between themselves a lot of times. Unless you're dealing with, like, you know, resolute individuals. And it's not always the case, but sometimes it ends up being the case because, you know, nothing's ever done until it's done. It's like you never know until you know. But you never know. And even when you know, how do you know that you know that you know? Yeah. And what does it matter? If who you love doesn't agree with you or feels differently, stronger enough to where it makes them uncomfortable or not feel as confident to grow. You know, so it's like it's, it's levels, you know, what I mean, like it's one thing to be right, but it's another thing to be understood. You know, you know, it's one thing to be understood. And it's another thing to be supported and accepted to be um Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, you, you got a girlfriend should tell you you're wrong. You're right when you're wrong. Mm -hmm. Not because she don't want to argue, but because it doesn't matter that you're wrong. It matters that she still fuck with you. You know what I mean? And that's the whole thing. Like, niggas still fuck with you, even though they try to make you feel bad for shit, different shit. But it's like, they don't want you to get too comfortable doing something they're not even sure that you still wouldn't even want to do for yourself or you, they don't want to get you locked in in a mode to where it's like you can't necessarily change that because you're already you're already this person that did this. And that's how we be feeling. And just like with this new day on this new year. Right. It's a fertile stage. And how I always look at it, I always kind of have this same sort of you know, dialogue, inner dialogue on this day of every year. Even though it's not necessarily even like the new year, the new year starts in spring. It's naturally, you know, towards the middle of, the, of what we would call the Gregorian year. But it's shifted. It's actually at a, it's at a tilt type of kink twist. We don't even post that seven day weeks. You know what I mean? So I was thinking about 
uh, accepted and support and uh, the look of love. It's not, that's why they say love is blind because it's not always so obvious. It's not the most like apparent sort of image. It's always relative to the components involved. So it's like with yourself, we say to ourselves, Shit, we, I mean, I already did it now. I already did it now. Even if I change, I, I stand in, I, I'm always beating already did it. And that's true. That's why we sometimes should just do what we know. We wouldn't want to live with ourselves knowing that we've done. Because, of course, you're going to have to do that. But you have to forgive. And you have to. And that's why they say forgive and forget. But you can't forgive without repenting you when it comes to yourself. And to repent, it's like you can't renege on repenting. Because it's like even worse than you had did it before, you know better now, even though you knew better before, which was already bad, and you still did it. Then you knew not to do it again, but you did for whatever reason, you know, because weaknesses. Because of stubbornness, because of selfishness. Sometimes because of fucking stupidity. Which that's the same thing is to do stupidity is to knowingly do something you know you should not do. Ignorance is to not know what you should not do and be doing it. And insanity is to do the same thing and expect something differently. But see what's fucked up is like, right? Because we're not always so open about how we truly feel about things, we we display certain dispositions with particular intentions, with particular ideas or, or objectives in mind, uh, interchangeably, or in uh, interacting with each other. A person can do the same thing, and then since you are comfortable that they that you know that they want to do it, now you can show them, oh, well, you like that. <laughs> or you can uh, you can finally say, well, look, I don't really like that because I can see you really on it, and I was trying to see if you're going to get off it on your own, and so you wouldn't feel bad about the fact that you're doing it, but that you need to keep doing the shit, and that's all I got to change up on you. And that's just crazy. Because a nigga did the same thing and got a different result. So that's just how twisted it gets. You know what I mean? Like it just be weird like that sometimes. So it's not never so cut and dry, you know? And, you know life is crazy. But what's crazy is doing the same thing to begin with. I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm going to tell you the truth. I just made me some lentils. Some lentils. Not even the soup. I, I, did, I boiled it down to the actual, to the nice, you know, I got like a, I'm, it's not even a paste. It's like, it's just the lentil. It's just soft lentil. I ain't got nothing. I ain't got no liquid in there. It's just absorbed all the, all the liquid, all the moisture, all the moisturization. And I got lentils. And these lentils are, are smashing. You remember how, when remember niggas used to say, this is, this is lit? Remember that last year? These lentils are litty. Lithium, Lithonia, li Lithuania. They, they get this Lithuania. These lentils are Lithuania. Smash City. I'm tasting it, I'm telling you the truth. When it comes to forgiving yourself, that's the hardest thing to do a lot of times. Cause you know you won't. <laughs> you know, how you gonna lie to yourself? At the same time, it's like you got to accept that nobody is perfect and that changes the process, okay? And that your best sometimes involves you doing things that you cannot have, that you can know not to do again. Failure is not an option. You know, but it's gonna happen eventually. And a lot of times, just subconsciously, we know that. And so we get it out the way up front. We wanna learn how to lose so that we can be familiar with bouncing back and be able to pull that out of the bag when it's most important. And that's the wise way of going about it. Because eventually, it's like, especially when you have that at heart. The, the losses you end up going through make you that much more of a boss. Double time. And I say this as one of my haikus, actually. 
I said, um, it's worth the, uh, it's worth the trouble, I think, or wor worth the pain or worth the something. Um, if you can manage under the right condition, the right conditions, if you can manage, like, you know, a lot of times, if you can, you probably should, whether it's bad or good, because you never know when you'll be able to, when you can again. Until you, of course, you've done it already and you have that choice before you, if you can. It's not about if you can, it's about that you can. And that in itself is a decision. I mean, you stay focused regardless. Do what you, what you set out to do and follow a particular principle, plan and pattern. Um, but deviation is not always, it's not always the, the worst thing because you know what? It's, it's different factors involved here. It's like you got eyes on you, you don't know that's on you. And I'm going to tell you something about dependability. It's predictable. Okay. And that's the only drawback when it comes to others. We're talking about yourself now. You know, if, when it comes to yourself, that's fine. You want to be able to predict what you're going to do so that you can grow, so that you can sharpen. However, you got to, if there's opponents, which, and that's another point of what I'm saying, where there are opponents, then that, of course, is, can be used against you. Your strengths can be used against you. However, do persistence. That's something to overcome as well as flip in your favor. Regardless, persistence is making, becomes that much more important, though. Are you following me? All right. I got lentils, and these lentils are are smashing. You remember how? Remember when they used to say, "This is this is lit." Remember that last year? When it's like you know, you need to be able to leave at least a, some sort of space for you to for catching your breath to become part of your technique. You have to leave at least some sort of space for catching your breath to become part of your technique. Okay? Second, third, and fourth wins. You feel me? It's all a science to this. This is science. This is, you know what I mean? This is real nigga one on one, you understand? When it comes to forgiveness, though, and forgiving yourself, it's the hardest thing to do. And a lot of times it's like, we know we're wrong. And um, it is like, okay, like, um, Dang, I had a thought and I knew I was going to forget it too. Because I get to veering off into different areas, man. Hold on. Okay, hold on. That's what it's about. It's about you and your relationship with yourself. And that's another thing about forgiving and enemies. There's no enemy but yourself. Even an enemy only has any sort of influence or power, quote unquote power, or is any sort of threat to you in where you are subjectable or allow yourself to be subjectable to that threat, right? You can always destroy that enemy or you can adjust your position to where no matter what that person would want to do against you, it can affect you. And that's more possible than, and, and that's more integral than destroying that person, especially where it is possible and it doesn't uh, mean, um, or jeopardize if it doesn't jeopardize any other other people or subject any other people to possible harm or, or it doesn't involve anybody else getting hurt in the meantime like a lot of times you got to do it quicker because of course you can get to a point where they don't fuck you up but they still fuck trying to you know hit people around you they're trying to get to, you know get to your loved ones and all that shit. they want to hurt people you love and these people are innocent and, and, and impressionable as well as unaware you know what I mean and just a lot less in the position to be immune to it and it's like you got to do something about it and you could it, it take more time and it, more it, 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 it end up involving more people and then that's just like a lot of time not the most necessary thing as opposed to just fucking clipping them off out, out of the picture however it's not always the best necessary thing and if it take it all it takes is, is is wisdom all it takes is intention and patterning you know it takes patterning you know for real. Because first of all, there's no enemy outside of yourself. So anytime you take that shortcut and you just kind of like cut a piece of yourself off, basically. Then you got to deal with something else growing in this place. Anyway, for one, it's incomplete. It's non-holistic. It's, you know what I mean? It's in a, it isn't holistic. It's a quick answer. Yeah, it's an answer. It suffices for the time, but it isn't, it isn't complete. And that just goes down to the core of the universe within yourself, for one, because that's a fact.
it isn't complete. And that just goes down to the core of the universe within yourself, for one. Because that's a fact. Even aside from that, when it comes to just personally, um, and forgiving yourself, like, okay, you're not the one to forgive yourself. You, you, you go to Allah to forgive you, for one. And that's why it's better, the hardest of the time, a lot of times, to forgive yourself, which will lead to healthy progress and change and development and reformation which starts with repentance. Now, who are you repenting to? Who you have in mind in your repentance, which means to feel remorse for something, which is penance or penance. And then you have repentance, which is to actually change that which you feel penance for in that guilt, so quote unquote, or you at least acknowledging where you can do better where you are a better person or at least you have the desire to be or you or you within you feel more most comfortable being able to say that you didn't do whatever it is or you did do what you feel like you should do you feel me you feel you know, you feel more complete as opposed to incomplete a lot of times we feel unjustly incomplete because of outside factors anyway and we end up just doing shit that don't even really matter to us because it's shit it's a lot we doing that don't matter to us. So shit, what is the difference? You feel me? And that's and that's never gonna change. So fuck it, I'm gonna just do whatever fuck. You know what I'm saying? I can do because it's gonna be many things that you can do anyway. <laughs> and, but see, it's only you can only do something the first time, one time. You can only do it the last time. One time. You understand? So that's why you got to keep doing different things. Because if it's possible, then there's a purpose for it. That purpose is not always for you to deny yourself of it or to avoid. Not always. Be on your, to be on your, on your square, be on your mission. Leave that like I said, that opening for you to be for being able to catch your breath become part of your strategy for one. At least keep 1% of an open mind to that. And that in itself will be enough for you to just kind of like be able to, you know, shake it up a little bit. As far as forgiveness, though, it comes to our creator, your Lord and Savior, universal sovereign, complete, absolute, supreme, to deem you worthy of continuing anything, worthy of participation in your contribution towards the universe. Not even necessarily so much relevance, at least relativity. <laughs> you know, because you got to have a particular propensity and oscillation, a particular frequency for you to even influence, for you to even sort of... Uh, resonate at a strength high enough or intense enough to affect the ripple of of existence, nigga. To begin with. If you're doing the same thing all the time, then your intensity is, is to compromise at least to that capacity. As far as forgiveness, though, and that's why it's important to have a a close relationship, an honest and open relationship, an integral relationship to work. Because you got to look at God before you can look at yourself. You got to look at God when you look at yourself. You know, when you when you see yourself in the mirror, you know, you got to show yourself to God. And, and, and now you're examining what it is you're going to be presenting. And that's the purpose and that is the function of that reflection. So that you can fine tune your contribution and your offering. You know what I'm saying? Take for instance, you make, you make your mama a New Year's cake. You make carrot cake because you know she loves carrot cake and you get the dopest icing. But you ain't paying attention to what you're doing. And you don't look at what you're about to give her right before you give it to her. You, you need to lit all the candles 
you, but you didn't even pay attention. You didn't even, you didn't notice you didn't misspell your mama name on there. Cause you didn't look. It don't matter. She's still going to take it, but you can be like, who is <laughs> Patrina? <laughs> I don't know this person. <laughs> it's a joke. But that's just an example. It's like, for instance, a big ass fucking roast that it fell on your shit and you ain't even look at it. Your mama ain't going to find that too funny. <laughs> I mean, you know, she good mom, she might not, but she ain't going to eat it. She can't eat it now. And if she eat it, then she hella nice. And some mamas be nice like that. But she didn't just still have to eat that roach because you wasn't paying attention. My mama, my mama, I would never even give my mama no fucking cake with a roach in it, first of all. But secondly, <laughs> if that was to happen, I don't even know what would happen because that shit is fucking dumb. But it, it's possible if you ain't paying attention. That's, that's what taking a risk of happening is what I'm saying. And when it comes to forgiveness, God forgive you. Yes. Right. Yes. Right. Um, but how you know that you forgive it? You got to guess. Anyway, you got to accept. You got to leave it there. You got to surrender. You got to forget it. You got to release it. But you got to have the desire to even release it. And a lot of times, and most times we have to have that desire to release it before we even become most serious about changing. But a lot of times it takes us being most serious about changing to even think about asking for forgiveness for it or or exacting forgiveness in our life or manifesting or um, I will forgiveness into, into into my interactions with energy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I, I command forgiveness. OK. In my ever in my every extension, in my every advancement, I command it. I command forgiveness. But first I must, but first I must forgive my enemies. Before I can be forgiven, I must forgive my enemies first. I must pray for their forgiveness before my prayers are even heard by God. And this is facts when it comes to prayer. You have to forgive your enemies. And that's, that's the last thing you're going to do. So if that's the last thing you're going to do, you can't even do nothing really because your prayers ain't even heard until you forgive your enemies. And this is what I'm going to remind. This is the reminder I had when I had to hop back on you to get on tape. But I said that before. As I said before, you have to forgive your enemies where you can even, your prayers can even be heard. Let alone in that prayer be able to petition forgiveness. You know, let alone have that be evaluated as to your sincerity as to your actual intention and, and, and objective and even saying it are you saying it because you know deep and down in your heart you're not gonna stop and you want an excuse to be judged so that you can just get it out of the way are you saying it because maybe you, you're praying that you're hoping that you will change and you want to have you want to have an ask for forgiveness as soon as you can because you do you know know that you know what in your heart is going on with you you're doing it just out of, you know, out of routine, which is not, none of those things are bad. It's all a experience. You just got to be transparent and honest with yourself and do what you can. You know, it's always going to be one thing or the next or one thing other than the next to do. <laughs> you feel me? Just do that shit. Just keep doing all type of shit all the time. You got to stay doing all type of shit. So, but as far as forgiveness, though, and change like you know that is a that is a system it's a sequence of things going on with that and that's why it's like we get so caught up like a lot of times we find ourselves caught up with circumstances man because it's very intertwined with all of these different like emotions and, and ideas and unresolved differences because first of all we're not forgiving our enemies for one, especially if we see anything outside of ourselves as an enemy. I mean, but that's just like an advanced sort of approach to it. Because, of course, you got countries at war. For one. So you can't say, my only enemy is myself. And you just got shot out by another fucking person. <laughs> you can still say it if you are ready to do all that that means. Do all that it brings to mind for you to do in realizing this. But that's just a mature approach. You have to be an advanced sort of, you know what I mean? Pattern drafter, pattern but crafter for that. In the meantime, I say I fight for 
for justice by praying for peace. No, I fight for peace by, by wait, I fight for justice. I fight for freedom by praying for peace. Cause it's really, it really is actually a, uh, a trap for you to exert any sort of, for you to attribute any sort of, I guess you could say, uh, authority outside of your own uh, command, your own capacity of action, your own capacity of action. It's a trap. It's an imprisonment of your soul and spirit, of your very, of your very divine, the divine force of your will within you to attribute any sovereignty outside of your own capacity of action. Okay. Especially when anything that you intend within your heart and mind completely and fully manifests. Because what you think about is what manifests. And the only thing that's going to stop it from manifesting is you stopping thinking about it before it manifests. Now, this right here is a very fact right now. This is a fact. The only thing that will stop it is you stopping. The only thing that will stop anything you want in your life is you stopping before it happens. If you keep going or when you keep going, it will happen before you stop unless you stop before it happens. This is a reality, my nigga. And this is why I'm saying this to you. And that's why it's important to forgive yourself because really that's the, that's the only thing that, that's the only way to, that's the only way to even start to even begin to do anything, to be honest. I mean, <laughs> Obviously, what I'm saying is there's no one outside of yourself. Of course, that's very weird because, of course, you can't have sex with yourself. I mean, you can, but that's not fun. It's important, you know, because you don't want to, you want to be, a, you want to be, a, you know, you don't want to have to depend on another person in order to, you know, and structure your sensuality. You shouldn't have to not be able to include nobody else. But, you know, it's all top of circumstances on earth. And it's just, that's just a messy situation. It's like, you know, it's all these different things involved with sex nowadays and it's like it's more physical than it really deserves to be it's physical it happens on a physical sort of you know association but it also does involve every other aspect of mental that's like you got to be ready for that and you got to be able to dip back and forth and it's like if you can't then it's like you might as well just keep it on a playable level but then that starts to work against you too either way because it's not whole it's not complete but anyway that's another conversation i'm talking about as far as like anybody being other than yourself right and how you got to forgive yourself, but how you going to forgive yourself because you're not God and, and it's for God to forgive you, yes? So it's like, okay, if you don't forgive yourself, how are you going to ask God for forgiveness? Well, sit, that's where you, you got to be conscious. It's where you got to be, you know, humble. You have to be humble in, in order to say, you know, as a sinner, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to filthily and dirtily approach the altar. Okay. If you don't forgive yourself, how are you going to ask God for forgiveness? Well, Sidney, that's where you got to be conscious. That's where you got to be, you know, humble. You have to be humble in, in order to say, you know, as a sinner, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to filthily and dirtily approach the altar of, of the pure, of the most high pure in order to move towards at least mercy. Okay. But then if you do that, and when you do that, and you don't change, you feel even more fucked up, you know? And it takes a lot. It takes a lot of weird, twisted-ass pride to come back to that altar, even dirtier than how you left the first time you came to the altar. And so, just from my heart to yours, you're like, I understand, you. I understand, and I commend a lot of these young men who return. You know, because they, they appreciate and they can see the vision having been clouded from the mercy of Allah through the compassion and forgiveness. Because, of course, Allah is the most merciful. But that doesn't mean we want to take advantage of that. And that doesn't mean that um that's all we need, like, is for God to forgive us. We have to forgive ourselves. Uh Also... But we also have to forgive our enemies. Yes. And who is the enemy? Well, that's a good question. You know, if you, if, if you, if your enemy isn't, is, 
is a sinner and you a sinner and nobody's perfect, then your enemy is who? Well, they say your brother is he who does the will of your father, of God, yes? That's your brother. So is your is 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 your enemy not is is it is not your brother basically? Anyone who's not your brother is your enemy. But what about friends? And well, I guess that's where friends don't exist. You got associates. But what constitutes an enemy? The enemy of your enemy is your friend, they say. But that who does the but he who does the will of your father is your brother. You know what I'm saying? So what's a friend, what's an enemy, and what's a brother? Well, they're all you. You know what I'm saying? For one, there's many reasons for why I say that, but it's already like a long video. I was really wanting to go on for, I mean, I guess I can go into like why I say they're all you. I just like, it's like this, basically, even as a brother, even as a friend, even as it, or, or into me, it's all about your reaction. It's all about your, your discipline your mind power you know you can have an opponent right uh, enemies is, is, your, is your adversary your op your opponent yes your opposition which is an opposite basically which is really the contrast it is a challenge to you is all it is so really don't give that person the power the power is yours to gain in benefiting yourself in better not better than them but better in yourself to where there's no opposition that even is a challenge to where that challenge now is is uh, achieved, conquered, you know what I mean? And then that's when they become your brother because now they can learn from you or they become your friend uh, and they become your friend and really, you know, a friend that you that you can, that you learn it with is doing the will of your father. So that's your brother now. I mean, I don't know. I ain't, I ain't finna make no brothers out of enemies, but I don't see nobody as an enemy, first of all. Cause ain't nobody a threat to me. First of all, I mean, when you go deep into it, I mean, just to kind of explain myself. It's not about me. It's about life. And life is more than just physical. So even when it comes to death, if you die free, or rather, if if your if your heart, if this physical heart stop beating, and your mind is free, is what's most important. And that's why fear is such a such a, a weapon. Okay, because you trap yourself in fear. If you die scared, you know what I'm saying. But, and that's why a lot of times they like to kill you before you even die. You'd be dead by the time you even, your body stopped working, you already didn't die. You know what I'm saying? You gave yourself over to, to the thought of dying. You know what I'm saying? When honestly, if we wasn't thinking about dying, we wouldn't even be dying. Because what you think about, is what manifests. And the only thing that's gonna stop it from manifesting, is you stopping thinking about it before it manifests. But we all here together, as brothers, friends, or enemies. <laughs> So it's a little more involved, but that is the meetup. That is the main, main message. And it's just the beginning. That's just the stage, the building. And that's just the floor, but ain't no limit though. And it ain't finna just, and when I come in and when I say ain't no limit, and I'm talking about even just physical or structurally, you know? It's like, man, that's, a, that's the best analogy I can give you. Like if you build something, like you can build a fucking space station. You can build, you gotta, but you gotta have a foundation first. You gotta, you gotta lay the groundwork main part is this, what you focus on, right? So you got to be able to be free. You have to have, have your mind be free. And a, a free mind is an open mind, you know? So just remember that, you know, remember as far as like change, always be doing, always be moving, always be actively pursuing uh, challenges. And that in itself will transform anything that presents itself or seems to be presented as uh, opposing or contrasting as complementary, as uh, actually accentuate or to what it is that you're representing in your actions. Because you are what you do. Who you are is what you do. You can say, I'm a man, but if, nigga, you, you don't, you know what I'm saying? You don't piss standing up. <laughs> Good, 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 good luck trying to trying to convince him. Okay, like, <laughs> that's what that's a manly thing to do. <laughs> that's one. Anyway, it's like it's hard to forgive yourself because a lot of time, like that's 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 intimidating. That's pressure in itself. 
even aside from the guilt of knowing you did, knowing you did something you shouldn't have done or you don't like that you've done, whether you should do it or not, it's all about you. Like if you feel good doing what someone else would say is wrong, then what does that matter? <laughs> if you don't feel like you're wrong, then you're not wrong. Unless and until a judge say that about you. Cause to be honest, like when you get there and, it's, and, and you're wearing your heart, if, if you don't feel guilty, then your heart is not gonna be heavy. You could have done the wrongest things. And that's what's beautiful about the heart for one. And that's what's beautiful about law, love, which is love, truth, and beauty. What's beautiful about truth, which is the same thing that's beautiful about justice, which is the same thing that's beautiful about order and the principle of uh, reciprocation, which is giving what you get and getting what you give and there being fairness and balance. So that's what I'm saying, like it's worth going through it because it's like we're ma we're here to fine tune and to uh, refine ourselves towards a integral existence. You know, and I'm speaking from I'm speaking from from a coarse place of reference because listen, I've walked down the block. I didn't, I didn't have to decide to go outside and die if I want to play, okay? Or if I want to go just nigga, if I want to see some sunshine, nigga, I got to I got to I got to consciously take a bullet just to get some sun. OK, this is a reality for me and everybody that come from where I come from. By the time they turn six. OK, so I say that to say. Your heart, right? We are here. Oh, you have to make the decision to do wrong or not. And if it's worth doing good and it's so worth it. Because whether you get credit or recognition from your peers or the police, you feel better about yourself. And that's what matters. A lot of times you gotta go through doing fucked up shit just to feel better about ourselves. But if you continue, if you can't persist, and you come to that fourth habit breaking decision, your pattern is what present predicaments where you can consciously pursue a particular habit or reverse the habit. It takes uh, a sequence of those predicaments and choices within those predicaments to change a, change a pattern. You know, they say it takes however, however long to break a habit. You got to have uh, three to four broken or continued habits in order to change a pattern because a pattern is based on one in reference to another in reference and those two in reference to the next. A habit is, is voluntary. You make a choice. You know, a pattern leads to habits or a habit actually leads to patterns or whatever. Like you have a habit then it like becomes a pattern. But then patterns also are made of habits, I think. So like you got one, right? And that's that. But then the next time is going to determine if it's again or if it's not again. But then if it's not again and it was before, then it's just one and one. So you need another in order to break the tie, basically. And then that last one, that fourth one, is if you're going to return after it being broken or if you're going to continue with it being, of course, changed. You feel better about yourself. And that's what matters. A lot of times you got to go through doing fucked up shit just to feel better about yourself. But if you continue, if you can't persist, and you come to that fourth habit breaking decision. And then defining and, and deciding your patterns and you still feel good doing fucked up shit doing fucked up shit first of all you're usually not gonna make it there the police gonna need either the police going to intervene your peers going to intervene or it's just karma's gonna catch up with you unless you're just an instrument of evil and even then you know evil destroys itself it, evil is destruction in itself so destruction is going to destroy itself <laughs> and that's another principle of good over community Right? Because life is life and life is living and, and, and love is moving and active. So you gotta be doing something in the next to, to make it to, the, to that fourth decision. Is if you're gonna return after it being broken or if you're gonna continue with it being, of course, changed. But when it comes to forgiveness, right? You know, and just like change, right? And guilt trips and just like forgiving yourself and forgiving others or pressuring yourself or judging yourself 
you know, uh, or judging and pressuring other people. A lot of times, it's kind of healthy to be a source of pressure, or not even necessarily so much pressure as we would like to think of it as encouragement, um, let alone inspiration, because you're going to inspire just through your own actions, regardless if it's intentional or not to encourage. It takes, you know, a thoughtful sort of uh, decision or uh, definitive intention to be encouraging. Inspiration inspires. You know, creativity inspires. Uh, action inspires reaction and response as well as impact. Right. So I guess that's just kind of the best way to pressure someone or I guess you to encourage them to to change for the better or that you are that you support them to support a person a lot of times to support somebody someone it means a lot of times you need to correct them or it's best to help them to see where you care about what it is that they may not be doing or they're doing differently than than they probably than you probably would want them to do when it comes to you they're doing differently than you know they're capable of doing they're doing differently than you know within yourself that they would be happier if they weren't doing. But they don't always feel so comfortable. A lot of times they feel guilty themselves. And a lot of us, we do the same stupid shit because we've already done it. And we feel bad about the fact that we've done it. And not doing it and changing it, even though we really know once we were able to change and especially had that support, it would be harder to go back than it would be uh, fun and invigorating and, 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 uh, and rewarding as well as um, releasing to just focus on staying right and continuing and building, building on that growth and guilt trips, shame, guilt, shame, and like the, the idea of what, you know, that's really like my comment, my input, conceptual interjection. That's what it's about. It's about you and your relationship with yourself. All in response, question and answer. This is to consider what, what I want you to ask, to answer. This is what I want you to answer. To consider. To consider. To define. To define. What is, what is power? Power. What is power? What is freedom? What is freedom? What is freedom? The two could go together. The two could go together. Maybe. They are. Maybe. Maybe. One in the same. Or one in the same. In ways.